Hey everyone, this is uh, Jason Tay from jasontayonline.com and today I want to show you how to identify or shortlist a potential private label product on Amazon. And then after you've gotten a product idea, I also want to show you how to potentially find it uh, or find a supplier for it. Alright, so let's start and we start on amazon.com. Alright, and uh, with a category drill down, we go here to departments and I will click on departments instead of on the drop down menu and just click on it again and Amazon will bring you here and they will recommend some of their main popular categories and then they have a whole list then of all the uh, what we call here in bold the parent categories and then under each parent category they have subcategories so you can do different things maybe you want to do like uh, I don't know uh, dog supplies or different things or you might want to do uh, maybe jewelry if you do that or computer accessories um, okay so uh, let's just uh, pick something all right uh, home and gardens here so let me just go down uh, da 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 furniture no don't, don't want to sell bits or mattresses or sofas uh, pet supplies okay home improvement I'm thinking home improvement might be uh, might consist of uh, simple manufactured goods. So here, Amazon's populating the left menu uh, with some more subcategories and uh, starting to recommend some products. And also, yep, here they repeat the same uh, subcategories again. And then you can also filter your search. So sometimes what I like to do is I like to pick like uh, three stars. So instead of four stars and up, maybe I do like two stars and up. And so I'll see products that have like 2.5 stars, three stars, three and a half stars. Uh, and then if they have good sales uh, and yet poor ratings, I know that customers are looking for these things, but they aren't, uh, but even uh, poor or lousy products uh, are selling well. So I can come in with a better, a quality product that can easily beat the competition. The other filter that I often like to use is the price filter. So uh, oftentimes I'll do like 25 to 50 or 25 to 70. So the price uh, point, I like to sell products in that price point so it has a healthier margin. Uh, but you can also like start with something as simple as $5 uh, because uh, there's often opportunity to bundle several like let's say four or five dollar products together and then you can sell it at $19.99 or $20 or something like that so let's just do five to maybe uh, 50 and I'll hit go all right so now you can see Amazon I'm still in tools and home improvement and Amazon's filtered by products in this price range uh, so uh, looks like there's way too many different kinds of products still all over the place uh, and this shouldn't even be in home improvement uh, unless your house wants to eat this but uh, let's go here so appliances I'm not gonna sell appliances don't want to do microwaves can't fight with uh, kitchen aid uh, I don't like to sell electrical things although accessories I don't know pipe covers or something uh, electrical cable covers might work. Uh, let's do hardware. So hardware because uh, I'm thinking simple manufactured goods that I could easily get produced uh, and nobody's going to care much uh, about if it like uh, breaks down. Okay. So I'm in hardware and more subcategories. Again, you see a lot of stuff here. I'm not sure why blankets is in hardware uh and oh okay uh pipe cleaner i think it's like a pipe snake you drop it down the pipe and try to pull out the hair or something uh so but how oh, still all kinds of things so let's see if we can drill down further so now we are in the sub sub category so we went to home and garden tools and then tools and home improvement and then filtered by price and then we go into hardware so let's look what is the sub sub category of uh, this section all right so a few different things blah 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 this might be interesting uh, door hinges maybe or something uh, oh, even gate hardware mm, okay let's try grommets and I'm picking grommets because I'm not exactly sure what a 
grommet is and the weirder the thing is the more I uh, am intrigued because possibly less competition ah so this is a type of grommet um, sort of thing to put on your desk or TV cabinet and then you can run the cables through uh, looks like anything that's a ring that you can put on is a grommet so just different types of grommets uh, so there's desk grommet okay let's so now we've drilled down uh, I'm going to go into pick a main keyword which I've identified as desk grommet this, this is a two inch uh, black and made of plastic uh, so I'm just gonna go here I go to all departments I like to always do that because sometimes uh, different sellers might list in different departments or categories so I'm gonna do uh, desk grommet and you can see Amazon has suggested so people have been searching like different sizes of grommets huh, interesting okay I'm just gonna hit uh, enter and see what happens okay so first couple are sponsored product ads six uh, this one of electrical socket I'm gonna skip that unless you can find a really reliable uh, supplier if not it might uh, I don't want to risk uh, having somebody install that and then creating a short circuit uh, catching fire so uh, you can see it's loading because I used the helium 10 along with some extensions uh, which I'll show you in a bit uh, the ones I primarily use are helium 10 jungle scout and viral launch uh, I don't use scope much anymore and okay let's go down no, I don't use scope because uh, I find it's too slow and the data's not as accurate whereas uh, viral launch and helium 10 have extremely accurate data that's uh, uh, like the exact search volume and also the exact sales velocity uh, it's super accurate and I've tested it against my uh, own listings and they are very very accurate uh, and that's because like for sales history viral launch pulls it from actual 30-day Amazon sales history for each SKU that you look up all right the other one I use is jungle scout a lot and that's just because I bought jungle scout like three or four years ago and it's a one-time lifetime fee uh, whereas helium 10 and viral launch are like monthly or annual fees and for jungle scout uh, I like it just to give me a quick uh, indicator because it's the fastest because it doesn't go in and pull so much data uh, it's just giving you a rough estimate so it's helpful for just a quick initial view all right so we see here okay 10 pack 749 uh, 999 so what we do is I pull jungle scout I click on the chrome extension usually it loads within I don't know about five to ten seconds if I did viral launch it typically will take like 20 to 30 seconds okay huh. right uh, all right here we go oh I have an extra like proven private label jungle scout add-on which uh, sort of you can set filters like uh, how what's the price point that you're aiming for what's the total sales of the top 10 listings and uh, how many listings that like, you can set uh, have less than 50 reviews or less than 30 or less than 100 in the top 10 just to give you an indication of uh, the competition uh, alright so it's pulling up some of the data still working on it mm, it's usually much faster uh, oh yeah but I'm far away from my wireless router because I'm trying to be in a quiet room uh, so I'm using my daughter's bedroom at the end of the house alright okay so you see uh okay so top 10 people are all doing four figures that's a guy oh that's the power one uh that's doing five figures so the first guy black desk grommet so it's just simple plastic thing he's doing almost five thousand in sales a month uh selling at 749 so the price point is a bit low but maybe i could consider let's say i put 20 of those or i'm going to look at if I can bundle this with something that Amazon will suggest so 749 uh, selling price selling estimated 661 units a month that leads to 4951 in total sales revenue minus Amazon fees uh, 341 and then Amazon the net is what Amazon will 
pay out to you or disburse with each sale. So that means, for example, if I can source and ship this product uh, to Amazon, let's say under two dollars, then I would effectively make about a hundred percent net profit. If I can ship this product, uh, source and ship this product for let's say a dollar or a dollar fifty, then my profit margin becomes like a hundred fifty to two hundred percent. Okay. Uh, so even though the price point is low, uh, it would still be making like a four dollars times six hundred. I have no idea what that is. Uh, okay, about two thousand four hundred dollars in net profit a month just by selling this really simple product. Okay, if I wanted to verify further, I'll do this, but it will take uh, a bit too long, maybe a minute for the results to come out. So. Okay, I've identified this as a potential product. Now I'm going to drill down into the actual listing. All right, let's see. Um, ta -da. Now the thing I'm looking for is bundling opportunities. So I'm going to see what Amazon suggests. So Amazon, just under the picture, it will say frequently bought together. So ah, of course, people buy the, this. So it's a two inch grommet. And they want to buy the two inch, uh, oops, helium 10. Uh, let me just go down. And uh, people would buy it with a two inch hole saw, especially if you are DIYing. All right, so uh, that immediately brings the price point above 20. So you could sell this like um, maybe $22.99 or even $25, and people might want to buy it. All right, I could do like 12 of these plus one drill bit for 25, something like that. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to, I like that the there's a $4 margin, even though it's really low because I'm thinking this is a really cheap product. Okay, uh, so I'm going to try sourcing for it. So the first place you wanna might want to try is could be global sources. So here I have a desk grommets, I already keyed in the search term, uh, and it pulls up a few things. So Ah, okay, so like different types, like this one is zinc, uh, looks more high-end than plastic. Uh, this one is the rectangle that you see often on office or school conference table kind of thing. And uh, these are rubber grommets. And then this is the type of thing that we're looking for. This, this, uh, this, uh, desk cable cover. Okay, interesting. So uh, unfortunately, there's no price point uh, for these. But now I'm going to shortlist these as well and uh, different metal ones like zinc, maybe like uh, bronze or copper, you know, uh, really popular vintage kind of colors. Uh, of course, I'll think about like white plastic, uh, maybe brown to match like a wooden desk. Okay, so I don't have a price indication, but I see like several MOQs are around like um, what, 1,000, 2,000 typically. Uh, you might think two thousands a lot, but it's actually not a lot in this case because let's say I'm because I'm going to multi pack, right? Each set is going to be ten pieces, so two thousand divided by ten is effectively only going to be uh, two hundred sets. Or, yeah, uh, and if this is going to cost I don't know a dollar, so that's only going to be two hundred dollars to test with one hundred sets. Okay, so no price here. Let's try Alibaba. So again, I now I've uh, put in. Uh, previously, I tried searching desk grommet and hardly anything came up. Uh, so I tried desk cable cover, then there was metal ones and different ones. Uh, now I'm trying desk cable cover plastic to be more specific. So the plastic ones come up. I can see the price on Alibaba. Whoa, okay, five cents to 20 cents per piece. 20 to 30 cents, but this one looks way more high end. Uh, rectangle ones starting from 80 cents to uh, almost ten dollars plastic ones 16 cents so that's 16 cents uh, there is 20 cents for metal that's five cents imagine if I get it at five cents so 10 pieces is 50 cents all right so if I go back here uh, just you can use the FBA revenue calculator but uh, helium 10 also has it built in right here on each listing so I'll just do it here so if I set 749 uh, if my product cost is zero, uh, my net profit is four zero eight. This is what Amazon pays out to me. But I can input my product cost. So uh, based on that one, fifty cents. So if it was ten, so it's five dollar. Uh, sorry, uh, fifty cents times ten. 
sorry, 5 cents times 10 is 50 cents, so 0 0.5. So if my product cost is 5 cents per piece, uh, 10 pieces, uh, 50 cents, then my net profit after Amazon fee and product cost is three fifty eight. Of course, I have to ship the product. Uh, I'm guessing a good ballpark, probably a dollar shipped by Express because the product is fairly small and light. Uh, so uh, shipping one dollar plus product cost 50 cents. What do we have? Uh, so 749 minus product cost minus F minus the FBA fee, uh, which you can see here, uh, 341. So your net profit is 251 on your initial capital outlay of a dollar fifty. That is well over 100 percent net profit, which is way better than any other investment uh, unit trust or stock or share or dividend or bank interest. All right, so that's an example. Uh, you can also go to 1688. So how do you search 1688? So 1688 originally will be in Mandarin, so like this. Whoa, okay, you don't know how to find anything uh, if you don't unable to write in Mandarin. So very simple, go to Google Translate and I've typed in desk cable cover and then you just go here, highlight the thing, uh, copy, go back to 1688 and uh, here I've already uh, pasted but uh, just paste over again, there we go. Uh, and this is the search result page. Uh, so here, you see like, uh, then now I notice, okay, it's still in Mandarin. So if you are using Google Chrome, that's a built-in translator. So using Google Translate. So it translates to two or three seconds. And now you can easily see, okay, 45 mm round plastic. Let me go back and verify what the size of this thing is. So it's two inch. So if it's two inch, what is two inches? two inches uh, you can just type into google search so let me show you so i'll just do two inch and google will start suggesting so two inch to mm and it will bring you to this page so two inches is about 50.8 millimeters so anything about 50 51 mm uh in the matrix system where will we okay one six eight eight so okay blah 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 so we search some things uh and uh, these are some results. I just want to show you another neat little trick. Uh, sometimes you can't get an accurate translation and you can't find the thing. 1688 actually has a photo search. So you can click this and it'll ask you to upload a uh, picture. So what I uh, can do is I can go to Google and I search that grommet and I click images and look, there are all these things and I right click I save image as and uh, I've downloaded it here to my desktop. So I go back to 1688, upload picture. I uh, go to desktop and there is that file. I put it up here. One, two, three, okay, uploading, uploading. And it will try to match the image to all the listings uh, that it has. So uh, if you don't know, 168 is actually Alibaba, but for the Chinese market. Oh, it's not been able to find anything. Okay, so. Hmm. Try that again. Okay, so you see, uh, it was a bit buggy. Uh, so we searched again and I uploaded this image and now it's returning images and I can see the prices. So you look here, 15 yuan or renminbi. So if I click through to this, now let me see what 15 yuan is. So let me do like 0 0.15 RMB, renminbi in USD. And it's two. 0.4 cents that's less than half the price of the cheapest listing that we saw on Alibaba so that's why uh, sometimes sourcing on 1688 can be very very helpful uh, it's because it's for the Chinese market so it's like how sometimes you go into a restaurant if you're a foreigner they'll give you the English menu with foreigner prices if you are local then they give you the Chinese menu and it has local prices 
uh, so that's the same way that it works here with 1688 so the only issue with 1688 is you cannot buy directly unless you have a Chinese like a bank account with a Chinese Alipay or WeChat kind of uh, thing which requires a Chinese bank account so as a foreigner what I do is I have a couple of sourcing agents that uh, help me to purchase these products of 1688 I've even had a case where I actually buy uh, exactly this price, uh, 0.15 renminbi, so two and a half cent product. And my sourcing agent called the supplier on 1688. So they go into like this listing and they find the contact details, uh, right? And uh, she came back and said, uh, I can get it for you at 0.1 renminbi. <laughs> So it ended up like six times cheaper than the price listed on Alibaba. And uh, that's one of the products I sell, part of a bundle that is doing like close to 400 units a month. All right. Uh, so there we have it. You identify a product and then be sourced it from various different possible uh, suppliers. And I just want to end with this. So with this product now, you can uh, create multiple variations. You can do like a 12 pack and sell or 15 pack for 9.99. So it's a better deal. Uh, I'm sure people wanna buy that. You can also do it in white. You can do it in uh, steel. You can do it in bronze. You can do it in zinc uh, and with different price points. You can do a bundle with this and with the drill bit matching the two inch bit with a two inch uh, hole and then uh, if you remember when we did type desk grommet into Amazon, I'll just back and then, yep, Amazon starts suggesting there's too many, many different sizes. So you find the same uh, supplier, they're probably able to supply you with all these different sizes. So like from our one product idea, we now have like 10, I don't know, 10 possible different sizes. Or five different sizes and then times like different colors see like brown white uh, so five different sizes times three different colors you already have 15 potential variations uh, and then uh, if you add in more high-end ones like the rectangular shape uh, um, for bigger tables uh, or the uh, ones made of metal you could easily uh, have a brand with like 30 different skews just of these and the profit margin is ridiculous. It is going to be like two or three times doubling, tripling uh, your money with each sale. So I hope that's helpful. And if you like it, then hit like on the uh, thumbs up on YouTube and uh, go visit my website at Jason Tay Online and join. Uh, once you get there, you can join our Facebook group as well. All right. Thank you for watching. And that's for today.